Let's get caught up on the famous couple, Sarper and Shekinah. I'm sorry if that's annoying. Let's all say it. Sarper and Shekinah. Reminds me of Oprah. You get a nose job. You get a nose job. I got two episodes to cover, so let's go. Sarper is meeting privately with his parents for lunch. The day before they had met Shekinah and it went perfect. But now Sarper is disclosing to his parents that he was getting ready to propose to Shekinah until they had this last conversation about having a baby. I was just looking at ring prices, ring types and everything else, but now. His mom says, I really want a grandchild and it's the woman's job. If the husband wants a son, then the woman should make that sacrifice. Hamilelik kolay bir şeydi kadın için. Yani mesleği o zaten. Yani güzel. Şimdiki şu sevdiğin erkek çok istiyorsa çocuk o zaman biraz I understand this is old culture and they're probably also biased because Sarper is their son. But what about how she kind of feels? Bu çocuk konusu çok önemli bence. Ha bu beni üzdü. Ben bayağı bekliyordum yani bu işi. Did they just now decide that they're going to start harping on Sarper to have a baby? Like, did he just realize that they want a grandchild? It looks like Sarper really takes into consideration what his parents think, and I respect that. But I also think that when it comes to marriage, you need to make your partner your priority. What the parents think and desire, it doesn't matter. You need to make your partner priority, not the desires of your parents. It's not Shekinah's job to keep his mom happy. <laughs> then Sarper takes Shekinah's glory to a beautiful spa. She tells us that Sarper has not brought up the baby issue again. So currently she's just living in the moment. She's enjoying herself. Today I'm taking Shekinah to Hamam, which is Turkish bathhouse. And I thought that it's better for us to get relaxed a little. Doesn't that look relaxing? I was watching this thinking, man, I wish I could be her right now. Just for a moment, laying there, being pampered. <sighs> you love today? I love today. I'll never forget it. No, you made a big sacrifice, leaving everything and coming to here, okay? Then Sarper starts in. Okay. He has a plan though. He starts with acknowledging her sacrifice, which is moving to Turkey. Come, 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 come. They loved you, but the child issue. My mother said directly that she wants a grandchild. She said that. He didn't spend very much time buttering her up. Maybe he was hoping the spa experience was going to change her mindset. Oh. Maybe if you understand what I went through, you'll understand why I feel this way. I wanted you to reconsider because I really want to. It's surprising to me that he is so surprised <laughs> that she doesn't want to have a kid, especially because she was sure from the very beginning of the relationship that they wanted the same thing and that was no children together. Do you feel it, like you really want that because your parents really want that and they're pressuring you? That's the purpose of life, isn't it? I mean, you have a daughter, you know. She tells him that she knew her ex-husband for a long time before they decided to get pregnant and she thought she was ready, but he basically just left her to raise their baby by herself. He would leave me with the majority of the responsibility of raising her. So incredibly hard. And then Sharpie says, well, even if we break up, I would never abandon our child, even though my track record says otherwise. And you are thinking that you can live that experience again. Of course, why not? I mean... You don't know if I have that responsibility or not. She's like, I'm sorry, my ex said the same things to me. No, a child is a lot of work. I don't think you realize. Even we get aparted, I never leave my child. I mean, he said the same things to me. I'm sorry to say that. You are just living your life. I mean, you. And he says, look, if you don't want to have a kid, then we don't have a future together. together. You have already had a kid. Of course you don't want it. Please don't discredit my experience. It Baby, literally is the reason I don't I'm care about you experience. Well, you should me. care. Sarper turns into a total douche. He's trying to make her feel bad any way that he can. I will want a kid from a girl and she will reject He's It's not, karma of 2500, I know stop that. stop talking about your disgusting Ex. numbers and yeah, my numbers. And then she says this. That conversation and I'm 
unsubscribing. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're so Thank welcome. You so much. So cringy. She was handling this situation like a champ, and then she threw in, I'm unsubscribing. I'm putting a thumbs down on that comment, so there. He's the one that's done the complete 180 and he's making it seem like it's my fault that I don't want kids. So she leaves to go get dressed and for some reason, Sharpie is halfway in his robe with his boots on. I think he wants everyone to see his big boobies. He paid good money for those implants. In the relationship with your demands, because you're not gonna have any hope for a future with me if you're gonna demand this now. Of- I like this. Shekina is trying to meet his intensity. She's putting her foot down. You don't even cry right now. Why should I cry you right now? You are on the verge of losing me and you don't cry. Um, what? Who do you think you are? Cause the whole internet thinks you're Robbie from Lazy Town. It's the hair. His hair looks like nothing can penetrate it. It's like a permanent hard hat. I'm not going to cry about that. I'm relieved that I'm finding this out about I'm you. I'm not expecting a child from you right now. Uh, yes, okay. you are. So he tries backtracking here because Shekinah is clearly not backing down on this one. Also, she looks like she just stepped out of the Matrix and is ready to kick some arse. If you're going to carry on like this, you're going to lose me. Do you think that I care? It will take two days for me to forget. Okay, two days, two days, two days. I couldn't get past that comment. I wouldn't be able to. I would never be able to let it go. He's getting pissed that she isn't budging on this. And he's like, okay, go buy a ticket. Go get a plane ticket. You are threatening me. Book your flight then as soon as possible. I will. And the next thing we see is her throwing her crap into a suitcase. And he's like, stop it, no. Stop, you're acting like a child right now. I delete you if you go from this house. Then I'm definitely oh. going. Another one? She said, I'm unsubscribed and you're going to delete? That's what to say. Do whatever you wish, okay? I will. Wow. This is really getting serious. He is acting like such a brat. She's literally packing her suitcase and he comes over and just starts grabbing her clothes and throwing stuff out. Like, <laughs> child. Look at how they closed out the most recent episode. <laughs> You, you said <laughs> Someone call a priest because this girl needs to be exercised. Shut up! Look at the rage. She, she looks like she is completely out of control. I would be scared to be in the room with her, seriously. What will happen to the mannequin couple? Tune in next week to find out. Bye!